Indiana's Attorney General Greg Zeller is speaking out about the Sandbox veterans. The Fort Wayne group used to collect donations from drivers saying that money went to help Iraq and Afghanistan vets with PTSD. Well, we have told you the organization has dissolved after 15 finds out it aired a series of investigations. But that doesn't mean state leaders have stopped their investigation. Tonight, News Channel 15's Adam Widener continues our series of special reports, Patriots or Panhandlers. Attorney General Zeller tells 15 finds out the fact that the sandbox veterans has dissolved is obviously a red flag. It also makes the organization a lot harder to reach. Regardless, Zeller says officials are trying to chase down members of the sandbox veterans. After watching our special reports and hearing complaints from a handful of you, the state attorney general's office launched an investigation into the sandbox veterans last month. When it comes to records with the state, Zeller says the Sandbox Veterans Group has essentially disappeared. With no more organization, he hopes to go after individual members of the group. We're still doing an investigation, so we'll, uh, we'll see whether there's some funds that we can recover, see if there's some uh, consumer penalties that will go against. But uh, at this point, I'll say it's always, um, let's say realistically, it becomes harder when they've dissolved. When you get a solicitation from a nonprofit with a name that pulls on your heartstrings, Zeller says make sure you do your research before giving. We're going to continue to follow the Attorney General's investigation into the Sandbox veterans and we'll bring you the latest as soon as it becomes available. Live in Studio 15, Adam Wagner, News Channel 15.